Assalamu alaikum and greetings. In this video, we're going to talk about the necrophilic addition of carbonic compound, which is aldehyde and ketone. In general, the structure of aldehyde and ketone is represented by the same homologous which is the carbonic group, which comprises of C double bond O and another two bond of the carbon attached to either hydrogen or carbon. If it attached to hydrogen, then it will be an aldehyde. If both sides attached to carbon, then it will be a ketone. However, we're going to focus on the position of the C double bond O for both structure. So, based on the structure, we will notice that the C double bond O will represent slightly positive charge because the electron has moved towards the oxygen and the oxygen will have a slightly negative charge. Therefore, as a carbon compound, it has the tendency to be attacked by a nucleophile at the carbon or it also has the tendency to be attacked by electrophile at the oxygen atom. Again, what's going to happen is the double bond will break and then we're going to add another new element to the carbon attachment. In our discussion, we'll be limiting our discussion with the addition of hydrogen cyanide sodium bisulfide and also Grignard reagent Among these three reagents, we already discussed the addition of Grignard reagent in our previous chapter which is alcohol in the preparation of alcohol So, doesn't matter it is an aldehyde and the ketone As long as it has the C double bond O structure this reaction can be done via the nucleophilic addition reactions. So let's take a look one by one. Let's say for the first example, we're going to take a simple aldehyde, for instance, propanal, and we're going to react it with hydrogen cyanide. The nucleophile CN will try to form bond with the C double bond O carbon. However, there are already four bonding towards the center carbon. So what's going to happen next is the double bond will be broken and then the electron will move towards the oxygen to give way for the CN to make bond with the C double bond O carbon just now. This will result into the formation of propanol with a single bond oxygen and then the hydrogen is being retained there with the attachment of the CN to so the C double bond O carbon and then what happened to the another H it will attach to the oxygen to form an OH so as you can see here this is what happened for the nucleophilic addition it tried to form bonds and then the hydrogen which also acts as an electrophile will attract it to the oxygen which is negatively charged because the hydrogen itself is positively charged so we're going to have a cyanohydrin product we're going to perform the same reaction towards a ketone for instance I would like to use acetophenone acetophenone is a ketone comprises of a benzene ring attached to the C double bond O attached to the methyl group CH3 so as you can see here, this is a C double bond O which attached to two carbon at its side. We're going to react this with also H3N which is going to undergo the same process. The CN will attack the C double bond O because it's going to make way for the CN to form on the bond. The double bond will transfer its electron towards the oxygen. So this resulted into a benzene ring attached to the carbon with a single bonding to the oxygen and then there is a methyl group attached to the CH3 take note for other elements inside the structure it's not being affected by the addition only the C double bond O because this is the functional group we're going to observe the CN will attach to the C double bond O and then the OH will be formed from the addition of OH with the O from the ketone just now so again we're going to get a cyanohydrin compound based on the addition of the HCN 
In this reaction, doesn't matter whether it is aldehyde or ketone, as long we have the C double bond O structure, the reaction will proceed via the nucleophilic addition reaction. Next example, we'll be looking at the addition of carbonic compound with sodium bisulfide. So let's say we are using ketone. This is pentanthion. We're going to react it with sodium bisulfate with the formula of NaHSO3. The idea is we can isolate the hydrogen first so it can be drawn as HNaSO3 or also we can also use HOSO2 Na. I prefer the upper one for the explanation. Same goes with the reaction. We're going to have is the nucleophile of OSO2 and A will attack the carbon which have the C double bond O. In this case, it's carbon number three. Again, in order to allow the bonding to happen. The double bond will be broken and then the electron from the double bond will transfer to the oxygen, making the oxygen become negative. This will be resulting to the formation of the ketone just now with a single bond with the oxygen with a negative charge and then the attachment with O, SO2 and A. The H will initially attach to the bisulfate ion will later on attracted to the negative charge from the oxygen to form the OH. So, this is the product of the nucleophilic addition between a ketone and also the sodium bisulfate ion. We can also apply this reaction towards the aldehyde compound. We can summarize the reaction with these following steps. First, nucleophile attacks the carbonic group. The carbonic group breaks and carbon attached to the nucleophile and finally the H will attach to oxygen which bears the negative charge so basically these are the three steps which is crucial for determining the end product of the nucleophilic addition reaction And finally, the reaction between a carbonic compound with green reagent. So in this example, I'll be using an aldehyde, which comprises of benzene attached to the C double bond O attached to hydrogen. This benzaldehyde will be attacked by a green reagent, RMGX. Ethyl magnesium chloride, for example, the ethyl magnesium chloride will be attacking the C double bond O, just like the previous two examples. And then, to allow the bonding between the C double bond O with the carbon, the double bond will be broken and then transfer the electron towards the oxygen, resulting into formation of the benzene with the single bond O and then we have hydrogen attached to the side which attached to the ethyl group okay this is the first carbon and also the second carbon the first carbon and second carbon remember guys it's going to bond where the bond is break and then the negative charge which possessed by the oxygen will attract the magnesium chloride which is positively charged so we haven't reached that the end product yet. 
Next, for any Grignard reagent reaction, it will be terminated by the addition of acidified water. Again, the acid can be hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid, nitric acid, or also phosphoric acid. It must be a strong inorganic acid. So what's going to happen is, MgCl will be replaced by H, which is positively charged. While the OH from the water will combine with the MgCl to produce the side product of MgOHCl. But the main product that you should know is the benzene, which attached to the single bond O, which attached to the hydrogen. We have the ethyl group and also the replacement of MgCl with the H. So in the end, for this reaction, we're going to produce a secondary alcohol. Because we have the COH here, it attached two carbon, one from benzene and the other one from the ethyl group attachment. So there you have it. The three nucleophilic addition of carbonic compounds by using KCN, sodium bisulfate, and also Rina region. Remember, for all of this reaction, it involves the three steps. The attack by the nucleophile, the breaking down of the double bond, and finally, the attacking by the electrophile. If you have any question, please comment below. See you guys in the next video. Goodbye.